Greetings YouTube Cross Train here and welcome today to a game I had in World of Tanks that is as this tank goes is nothing all that spectacular as you'll find out but um, it is a um, it is a great example of why this tank is so stinking OP. Uh, honestly, in the long history of my five plus years or five years or so playing this game, um, I have never been able to get um, one of these tanks that was released in so OP before they nerfed it. Uh, this is the first tank in the game that I've gotten that just feels so OP when you're on the other end of the gun. Um, and, uh, and sure enough, when you play it, it's just stupid silly, uh, which I love. Uh, I love having it, and uh, it's one of my favorite tanks right now. can't wait to get the Tier 10, um, but I just cannot wait to um, to get the Tier 10 as well. So so let me tell you a little bit about the Skoda T50 if you don't have it. Um, and uh, it is a Tier 9 Czech medium tank. It's got a three-shell uh, autoloader. It loads in... Uh, I've got a uh, fully fully outfitted crew, in, at least in terms of uh, its loading ability. So, 100%, uh, they're into their second skill uh, on on uh, this crew. The um, so I got about a 20 second, just under 21 second reload uh, on it. So this thing fires. Um, it loads in 20, just under 21 seconds, and then uh, there's 1.8 seconds, I think, between shells, which is just ridiculous. Uh, and, and this game will show you, um, you know, some of uh, how that plays out uh, in terms of, uh, you know, out in the field. So I am uh, also doing... Um, uh, this video with just vanilla uh, watt. I decided to try that, and uh, so if you have any thoughts on vanilla versus my normally fully modded game, which I I play, um, then let me know in the comments. And and I don't know if this is good or not good or whatever, but um, wanted to uh, to try it one video, so I decided this would be the video. I'd give it a go. Uh, so if you like it. Uh, let me know if you don't like it. Let me know if you prefer to see all the bells and whistles that I normally have running. Uh, then, then let me know, and I'll be glad to uh, to run it either way. So, I personally like to run with all the mods. Of course, it puts a lot of stuff in your screen, but um, I don't mind that at all. In fact, I prefer it, as I said. So, otherwise, uh, I just uh, really just want to. Enjoy this game. Um, watch as this thing plays out. Watch how quickly this tank gets out its shells. I mean, that's just crazy. Three shells, 900 to 1,000 damage in four seconds. Uh, just silly. I did not get spotted, so I decided to come back up here and, and uh, re while I'm reloading. Um... The other thing that's crazy about it, this is how you can also tell this is OP. Um, as you may have noticed on the cover of my video and knowing how I do my videos here. I'll watch. Here's another SCO to watch this. I just dumped a thousand uh, damage into that tank. In, again, like four seconds less than four seconds from the first shell to the last shell was 3.6 seconds that's just stupid uh, anyways what I was saying uh, before I was so rudely interrupted by that tank that this showed up in my gun sights is this um, as you may have noticed on my cover uh, this was uh, I didn't get a single uh, reward. In other words, this was not a first, second, or third class <laughs> game. And, and we'll see on the post-game results uh, what that means. It just means that a lot of people are playing this tank and playing it extremely well. Uh, if, if the game that, 
you know, which I have, which is certainly well above average for me. And I'm not the worst player on the North American server, so, um, you know, I, 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 I have some good games once in a while, but uh, it just tells you a little bit about what's going on with this this uh, tank is being played at an extraordinarily high level. So I'm just gonna. We've. Uh, it just feels like we're in much more control than than it probably looks like. It's just eight to six at this point, uh, nine to six. I am teamed up today, by the way, with Nixledin and uh, Inconsiderate, uh, Inconsiderate from Claws, but a former clanmate of mine and oh, uh, a couple of clans or one clan early, uh, partisan. He was uh, back in partisan days. I killed that guy blindly, but uh, so Inconsiderate and Nixelid and I are teamed up, uh, Inconsiderate's in his uh, arty, and Nix was uh, was in his uh, AMX 30. So I got four kills at this point. Uh, I noticed there's a T-49 back towards uh, our cap. And uh, so I'm I'm uh, rolling back to to just kind of keep an eye over Cap and see what um, see what transpires. We do have a, a PZ58 uh, Mutz sitting overlooking and a K uh, M46 KR uh, Patton KR, who's kind of sitting spotting Cap. So I decided to come down here and just kind of wait and see what happens. It is 12 to 7. It's pretty much at this point a mop up. All of their arties, thank goodness, are dead. Um, so now it's just a matter of um, uh, trying to mop them up there. Um, Yag Tiger is back uh, towards their base. Um, their T49 was last spotted. There he is right there in the back line. Four hit points. Clearly making an arty run. I take a shot even though I, I couldn't see his outline of his tank, so I decided I'm not going to, since I got a 20 sec, 21 second reload, I wasn't going to take those last two shots. I figured I'd just go meet him, and hopefully one of these two shots will hit him. If not, then I got r full ramming power, is what I was thinking. So it's a good thing I saved two, because the first shot missed, and then I decided to wait until the very end. Yeah. Made easy work of that. Made sure that he was right in front of me. So picked up my fifth kill. Uh, I'm heading over to try to get this Yag Tiger, because he's hanging out there in J3. Uh, he's going to do the dishonorable thing. Uh, although I get it. I understand. Sometimes <laughs> I've been frustrated enough to do this once or twice, admittedly. I don't try to do it very much, but he drowned himself, so that will be the end of this game. So I picked up five kills. Uh, again, without my mods, I, I don't remember exactly, but um, it was somewhere just south of 4,000 damage. But uh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the post-game stats here. So... Here's the post-game stats. You can see that I didn't get any badges, any mastery badges. Not third class, not second class, not first class, and certainly not ace tanker. Not a one, not even third class. Third class is awarded if you are, if your result is in the top 50% of everybody who's played the game or played this tank, I think in the last 30 days is how they do that. So, in other words, you just have to be better than average than the average game in this tank in 30 days. So, you can see I did some work over here. So, I, I got five kills, which is usually a, a good way to bump up your, um, certainly your win eight uh, adds to your win eight. It also uh, increases your experience uh, with kills. Um, and you can see that I had a 799 uh, XP game. 
That's with 3,703 damage, 5 kills. Again, this is a tier 9 tank, not a tier 10. Uh, and I understand uh, all, all to be said about this tank. But 3,700 damage, 5 kills, in a win, no mastery batch. That's crazy. That's overpowered. That's another just proof that this tank is being played at an extremely high uh, skill level. But but regardless of that, I love this tank. I don't even mind that I didn't get a mastery badge. The best I've been able to manage in this tank at this point is a third class mastery badge. Um, but uh, this tank is just absolutely fun. Uh, it's silly reload time. It's just everything that you'd expect in an LP. I fully expect this tank will be nerfed. I hope I pick up the tier 10 before they nerf these things, but um, I'm not going to take my, I'm not going to hurry through this line because this tank is really, really good. To me, a lot of people like the tier 6. I did not. A lot of people like the tier 8. I did not. It was okay. It was better than the 6. Um, I didn't even play the 7. Uh, the 8 was okay. I played through most of it, and then I finally said to heck with it and free XP'd to the Skoda T50. Um, and free XP'd all the modules, so I played it fully upgraded from day one. So I couldn't answer your questions if you have any about anything less than fully upgraded. Uh, and then, um, uh, and, and I really enjoy it, so I'm not going to hurry my way through it. So you can see here that I... Uh, took 21 shots. Uh, some of them were blind, which is so I, I hit 15 of the 15, and I uh, penned all 15 of those. 3704 damage, 2500 of it, nearly all of it. <laughs> a good chunk of it was from further than 300 meters away. Uh, it is a soft tank, so I do try to stay out unless I'm on a city map, and you can swoop in and steal a little damage on guys that are hurt or, or uh, low HP. Now you can go in and, and scoop out a couple of kills in three seconds, and that's a good way to do it. Uh, but but uh, this is open map. Try to maintain my distance a little bit, and uh, at least early game, and, and try to get some damage out. So, again, this is such a great tank. Uh, I love uh, everything about this tank. I um, look forward to continuing through this and then on to the Tier 10. And again, like I said, I just hope I get there before they nerf the heck out of it. But... At any rate, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, nothing spectacularly fantastic about this game. Just a, well, what turns out to be not even an average game. <laughs> the 3,700 and uh, five kills. So, uh, but again, a fun game nonetheless. I'll take these all day long, every day. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Again, if you liked the uh, the no mods, uh, then, then let me know. Or if you prefer to have all the mods, it kind of, again, to some people, muddy up. I know I've taken those comments before that people go, oh, could you do it without mods or fewer mods or something? So thought I'd give it a go. Uh, just leave a comment in here, and I'll uh, respond back to you as I always do. Until next time, though, this is Cross Train from World of Tanks. You have a fantastic day, and peace.